Hello friends, today I want to show you the three main ways to make a drawing partially transparent. And this could be to make a character look like a ghost, or to have them blend in with the background, or to overlay shadows or other effects, but more on that later. And the idea for today's video came from a viewer question from Crystal Shot, so thank you for the prompt. So first, for vector and tune raster levels only, you can simply adjust the alpha value for each of the colours in your drawing. And you'll see the change straight away. So if I adjust the alpha for the blue here, just to bring it down, you can see it getting paler. And again, for the purple colour at the top there. And this will change the alpha colour for every drawing in this level, whichever column they're shown in. And this works perfectly in Toon's raster as it's a flat level. But you can stack drawings in vector levels, as I have here with the circles on the left hand side. So you can have the green circle in front of the red one. So if I change the alpha on the green, you'll start to see the red circle behind it. And if I change the alpha of the line, you can see the overlap of the fill towards the centre of the line. If I zoom in a little here, you can see the difference where the alpha change on the black of the line on the outside here is showing a pale grey, and on the inside it shows a darker green. And if you change the thickness of the line, you'll see that even more so. So consider the third option that I'll show you in a minute for vector drawings. But this is a good way to do it if you want some parts of your drawing to be more transparent than others. Next you can set the opacity for the whole column. This will apply to all drawings in the column regardless of which levels are shown in the column. And again this doesn't always look very good for vector levels so you might prefer the next option. But to adjust the column transparency just click the arrow in the column header and adjust the opacity slider and the opacity changes when you release the slider there. So that's the Toon's Raster levels, and then just click away. And if I show you on the vector levels, as we go down again, you can see through from one shape to the other, and the line has that half colour on the outside of the shape and the overlap on the inside of the shape. So do be careful with using this with vector levels. But again, you get to see the change straight away, so it's easy to adjust it to the right level. But changing this slider only changes it while editing your drawings. It won't affect the render until you go to the scene settings in the X sheet menu and tick this box at the bottom here, enable column color filter and transparency for rendering. So with that ticked, that change in transparency will be shown in the final render. Finally, you can use the effects to set transparency on a column. And this works for all three level types, but I'll show you on the vector level so you can see the difference between this and the first two methods. So first, go to a room with the FX schematic in it, and now go to the schematic room over here. And the schematic is shown at the bottom left. You can see the square nodes at the bottom left here. But if this window shows a stage schematic at the top left of the window, just click the button at the bottom right of that window to change it to the FX schematic. And this button is a toggle to go between the FX and stage schematics. Then while in the FX schematic, just right click on your column and choose insert effect. Then go to the layer blending section and choose transparency from the bottom of the list there. And it'll insert this extra transparency node just here. And then if we turn on the preview button by clicking the left eye button at the top of the viewer, you'll see the transparency is applied immediately to that view. But to change the level of transparency, just double click on the transparency node and you'll get this pop-up with the settings in it. And then you can adjust the intensity to either make it more transparent or less transparent. And you can see this works for the vector level as well as for the Toons raster and standard raster levels. But just adjust the transparency until your drawing looks right. And then when you render, you'll have this transparency on every drawing in this column. 
and thanks to all my Patreon supporters for all of your support. And don't forget that my tea mug and teapot supporters not only saw this video a week early, but can also download this project with some extra details in it to experiment with these different options. So that's three easy ways to adjust the transparency of your drawings. And if you'd like to see how you can use this for adding shadows to your drawings, then follow this video just here. Or for another useful video, check this out at the top. So I'll see you next time for another video. And that's a guarantee.